So Abu was born um, th- uh, six weeks premature uh, via emergency C-section, um, taken straight into the special care nursery to be cared for and everything. Um, very small baby. He, um, yeah, so he, there was a bit of breathing difficulties when he was born, so they put him straight on the CPAP machine and everything to make sure he was going okay. Born sort of folded in half, um, just just some complications from birth and everything. And then, yeah, we then the doctor started rolling through the ward. Uh, we had every sort of specialist the hospital had there come through. Um, yeah, and then finally after a few scans and yeah, x-rays, MRIs, uh, CT scans, um, yeah, Abel was diagnosed with sacral agenesis. So that's where the um, sacrum bone's missing from the base of the spine. Um, and part of his spine's missing too, so, so it all started there. And then we sort of just did yeah, continual testing um, and we found a lot more going on. So Abel's had uh, multiple surgeries up and back from the children's a lot. Um, yeah, so, uh, so he's had yeah, hernia, heart, um, hip surgery done to put his hip back in. Um, currently we're working through his scoliosis in his spine, so there's going to be some uh, another major surgery there coming up in the few years. We've had multiple, I think we're, we'll be up to nearly 20 hospital visits now with sort of all the complications relating to his, um, his disability and yeah, everything going on from there. We lost Tina uh, nearly, yeah, four and a half, nearly five years ago now. Um, I think he, he he's took it all in his stride. His mum was very unwell for a, a long time. Um, yeah, he has his moments still and everything, and we we, we try not to, we, we never forget, he'll never forget her memories. Um, we won't forget her memories and everything. Yeah, we we try and um, we try and remember all the good times. Um, just try and remember her just in day to day life generally, and um, how much she loved him and how special they were together. Pediatrician, um, she's amazing for us. Um, no hesitation to give her a call or if something's wrong there. And it's same as the care team. Like we've, oh, we're, we're pretty familiar with, I'd say, ninety percent of the regular peds doctors. They all know Abel. They all recognise him everywhere. And it's the same as um, his specialist that we have down here for um, like Rick Anglis um, in for the orthopedics of it for his hips and everything and. Yeah, he does a lot of the liaising with the doctors in Melbourne for us and everything like that. So it just saves a lot of hassles from going up and down the freeway a lot. To, we start to go to a lot of appointments, but we're getting the help down here from the specialists and the peds in the clinics here. Bar and Health have been really good um, in, the, in the care and um, service they're providing for us. It's more of a more of a family orientated. They make you feel a bit more welcome, and it's a smaller hospital. It's more it's more friendly. Um, yeah, they take the time to sit down and talk through everything. If there's something going on, constantly checking to make sure you're okay. And yeah, so it's just just the way it's sort of I think the way that they've sort of bred the culture in the hospital. That yeah, it's just very family orientated. It's just a, even though it's not the best place, but it's, it's, it seems like more of a happy place than, than anything else than when, when with everything going on in that, on that ward. My favourite nurse is Jackie. Do you reckon Santa will go to the ward? Yeah. Yeah? Santa will find the kids on the ward this year? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>
please donate to the Wish Upon a Star Christmas Appeal.